Cancer, are you ready for your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries? Because this is all about you. Cancerians, my fellow Cancerians, my fellows, it's always so nice to come home to you. So thank you so much for your support and the growth of the channel that has been happening because of you. I, I soulfully appreciate your contributions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If those of you are just finding me, my name is Michelle and this is my channel, Born Without Boundaries. Welcome. Thank you for watching the video. Please click subscribe below, help the channel grow and ring that bell so that you know when I go live and you know when I upload content. I actually go live every single day. I do daily tarot card readings Monday through Friday. And I go live and I do the tarot card readings, the dailies live, and then I take open question and answer session. So we have a lot of fun with that every day. That's between usually between 9, 8 and 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I live near New York in Connecticut. So that's the time zone I'm in. Uh, for those of you who are on platforms, Cancerians, who, that allow for commercials, please expect one in a couple of seconds. I get this out of the way early on so that you won't, your message won't be interrupted at all. You don't have to worry about commercials. It'll be commercial free after that commercial. So I will see you in a couple of seconds. Now, for those of you who just sat through an awkward pause. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. And for those of you who actually sat through a commercial, thank you. Thank you. Because that's actually a donation to the channel, whether you realize it or not. And I want you to know I'm very grateful. So this is general energies. We start with a tarot card reading here. You're going to get a full tarot, uh, oracle card spread. I'm sorry. We start with oracle cards here. You're going to get a full oracle card spread. And then the link for the extended Vimeo video is down below. Uh, and that is the full tarot card spread and the romance reading. So Cancerian for October 30th, 30th through November 6th of 2019. General energies for Cancerians. This is for your sun. This is for your moon. This is for your rising sign. General energies for Cancerian, sun, moon, or rising, or any other placements. If you know your chart, your natal chart, you know how to read it very well, and you understand how to how to apply this energy to the specific house or wherever cancer affects you, then please do, because that's excellent. Um, sun, moon, or rising energies for Cancerian or wherever Cancerian needs to hear this message. This message will come to you at the right time. There's tons of messages in my week ahead videos, so please go through. Something old may resonate with you, and you will see it when you are supposed to see it. And I will always timestamp it for you so you can compare it back to the time where it was recorded. That's always important, too. So Cancerian energy for October 30th, 2019 to November 6th, 2019. What is the energy that is crowning this reading? The energy that's crowning this reading is watch your words and um, magic works through you, but they're backwards. So that means that magic is working around you and somebody, and I've been getting this for a lot of zodiac signs, so I just want to let you know. There has been a lot of feeling of somebody casting spells, somebody casting spells that maybe not be so favorable. And it may not even be spells. It may just be people using their words against you as well, Cancerian. It could be the vibration of misinterpreting, miscommunication. Um, Mercury is in retrograde and a lot of times that happens. So either misinterpreting what people say or people not communicating well enough or, um, yeah, people communicating well enough what their intentions are or what their meaning is. It could very well just be telling you that the general energy for, for really right now, for this week, is not the best through the spoken word. In fact, there's a lot of room for misinterpretation through the spoken word, especially misinterpretation through things like texts. So I actually just posted some a key and peel uh, video on my um, on my community page. Watch it because it summarizes things perfectly and how easy it is, especially with texts, but with words in general to misinterpret what people are saying. And a lot of times you'll need to be in somebody's presence this week to actually understand what's really going on. Or if somebody calls you or texts you, in other words, if in other words, whatever you can do to get closer to the person this week. But a person or people that you're talking to, even even if it's at work, 
If somebody wants to text you or email you, there's going to be a lot of confusion. Call them. If you can take some time and get them into the boardroom, do it. Because for you especially, the feeling that you will feel in their presence will be something entirely different and not, that will be some, a kind of communication that's left out of uh, any kind of verbal, whether it's oral or written, any kind of verbal communication. It's going to be wonky this week. Like I said, in specific cases, and I'll attach it above, I'm trying to remember when I find it, I'll attach it above here. Um, to it's it's another video it's another um, um, zodiac sign that got the same kind of feeling of of somebody using words against them somebody using words to sort of cast them down or cause trouble for them and it could very well be in the most extreme cases because this is Halloween and a lot of people can figure spells around this time and not everybody's a good person so in the most extreme cases this could be spell work or somebody trying to cast spells on you so a cancerian i would actually suggest that even just for your protection you go and talk to a shaman or a witch if you if you feel because you'll feel it if you feel like something could be up just say what do i do to protect myself what are can you cast a protection spell on me can i cast a protection spell on me certainly you can surround yourself in love and light and you can say that out loud being thankful and sharing gratitude with angels and call them to protect you archangel michael is a great uh great um, um, he's not, a, he's not a God. He's a, an energy, a great energy to call upon to protect you or protect you from enemies that could be swarming around you or trying to do you harm. No, you're not, you're not, you should never. And, and if this is you that's casting or saying bad things, it's a warning to say that whatever dark energies you cast or whatever bad things you do, they come back to you threefold, especially at this time when things are creeping out of the dark and the veil between both worlds is very thin. So this is not a time for you to be this with a sign that's as intuitive as you, that's as connected to the spirit world as you. Um, this is, this is definitely a time for you to be, um, um, very, very careful with how you use words and what you say. And I would not suggest, in other words, when you, well, let me finish my sentence. When you cast a protective spell, Cancerian, I'm not, I'm not a witch, so I, I wouldn't know, but I do have friends and they can tell, they, they can share with you. When you cast a protective spell, you're not casting a spell to do harm to somebody. You're just casting a spell to protect you and deflect you from any harm that's trying to be done to you. So you're not wishing anybody harm. You're actually wishing love and wishing light and protecting your, wrapping yourself in a positive energy, okay? So understand that. Understand that even if you don't believe in this, it's just prayers, prayers, pray, um, pray for protection. This is a good time to pray for protection because it does seem to be like there's this energy, there's this, the energy crowning your reading is miscommunication, words coming and being, trying, it's like pe people using words against you. And I'm, I've been getting this reading a lot and it's not even the same cards. Use your mind wisely. Oh, crap. So this is asking you to get out of this place of emotion and get into your head and be very practical and pragmatic. In other words, don't take it personally. Somebody may be prodding you or trying to make you be reactionary this week, like doing things intentionally to get reactions from you and they know how to play you. So it's saying, get into your head space, use your head, put up that shell, Use your head and really decipher, um, you, like basically don't let them get to you emotionally. Protect your, hey, stop. Protect your emotions, cancers. Protect your emotions and keep it in the head space so that people can't actually strike at you where are, you are the most vulnerable. Keep it pragmatic, keep it logical. Um, this is when pigs fly also this is my when pigs fly card so something that may have seemed impossible in other words it could very well be something that seemed impossible someone that seemed so, someone that seemed impossible to do you harm might be might be the person that it that this this sort of 
this sort of backstabbing is coming from. It's sort of like a two brute, which is what I might actually name this video. It's sort of like uh, it's sort of like this crowning energy could could be coming from a person that that you would never have thought or from an area that you never have thought would have thought it would come from. So it's almost like a two brute, somebody that you like, it would never have, you would never have expected this to happen. And yet here it is, it's happening. Fox, somebody who's tricky. You could be dealing with a Sagittarian. This is a trickster energy. This is somebody who is very good and manipulative. This is also somebody who is playful and having fun. So it could very well be in some cases, cancers. And this is why I am asking you to please try not to be overly emotional this week because it could be somebody just trying to play with you, just trying to be playful. Don't take them seriously. Don't take anybody too seriously this week. Please be watching out for any kind of offers that are made to you this week, offers that are made under a Mercury retrograde. Listen, I know we got to make decisions. We can't just shut down during a Mercury retrograde. But it's almost like cross your T's, dot your I's, edit things Edit, edit things twice, three times, like be extra careful and be extra diligent academically, mentally, intellectually, because this is sort of a realm where you might, this is, this is a time when the energies could really mess with your emotions, but basically keep it in your headspace and, and don't take things too seriously. Almost pretend you're an air sign this week. <laughs> basically, and keep things very light because it could just be somebody trying to play with you and you take it seriously and you misinterpret what they're saying and you take it too seriously and then that exacerbates the situation and it, it causes a big problem. It could actually be somebody trying to trick you. Do you understand fox and a pig? Somebody trying to hunt you? Somebody basically wetting their lips and seeing you as some fresh piece of juicy bacon for them to uh, really get a, a huge feast on. So Cancerians, you know, this precious little pig does not want to be eaten. So he needs to stay in the clouds and use his wings and use his intellect to understand when it's the fox speaking, when it's the fox speaking. And when it's the fox speaking, he may be speaking in words that are manipulative. He may be speaking, he or she, that's no sex is involved here. So uh, he may be, he or she may be speaking in words that are extremely manipulative and they sound very, very good, but boom, they're trying to put a spell on you. They're trying to put a spell on you so that they can sort of manipulate you and it's going to come in the form of words. It's going to be very tricky. You know, I almost feel like, like it's just very, yep, mm, shit. Chameleon, somebody is in disguise, Cancerian. Somebody is in disguise. Gemini actually got like a catfish video. You might want to watch their video too. Um, there's a lot of things that are, because it's a Scorpio season, um, because it's a Scorpio season and Mercury is working with Pluto to really uncover things that are hidden and trying to hide out in the dark and Pluto's like, get this crap out of where I live. I don't want shit hiding in the dark that's shady and Mercury is sort of his private PI that's investigating for him as it goes retrograde through Scorpio season. So understand that things that are hidden, things that were shady, things that we're trying to hide. My son, who is also a Cancerian, just discovered that somebody was using his account falsely. He had to shut down his credit card. He only lost 80 bucks, but that's my thing. Like this week, we definitely have to be on the lookout for like a fox that got into the chicken coop. You know what I'm saying? For somebody who is out to, I'm not saying they're gonna do serious harm to you, but they're definitely false. And this is definitely information that was hidden from you, Cancer. It was hidden, they were trying to discuss. They may be somebody who was pretending to be your friend or pretending to be you. Like, like in my son's situation, they were ordering DoorDash on his account and he doesn't even know how they got this information. He doesn't even remember. There's only one person that it could have been. And maybe she was, maybe she was using his account accidentally by just it, it, like his account was still attached to her account and she didn't realize it. Either way, something was going on that looked like it was on the up and up, but clearly something was being hidden. And some, in other words, somebody was disguising as him using his stuff 
right? And it wasn't. So watch out for that kind of behavior. Check your, check your bank accounts. Make sure that there is no false charges on your bank accounts. Make sure that there's no false accusations against you. Read those emails twice. You may have the tendency to want to rush through things. Don't rush through them. Read them twice. And if it's really, really important information, make sure that you speak to somebody slowly, clearly, and in person so that you can get the energy and the gesticulations and not just the words because there is definitely a miscommunication happening with words. So, yep, there is a chameleon. So, in other words, this is probably somebody that you already know and in a way already trusted because it was somebody who pretended to be like you or somebody to like you, somebody to fit in. Or it's somebody disguised themselves so well that you don't even know that they're there. Like I said, it could be some sort of fraud or some sort of theft. And that's why I'm telling you guys, check your books. Check them. Check those charges to your credit cards. Just watch out. Because there is somebody in the midst. There is somebody in the works. There is somebody afoot that is basically not who they say they are. They're being foxy. They're being tricky. They're being shape-shifty. And they're trying to blend in and so that they're trying to be inconspicuous so that they can stay eating off the leaves of your tree so that they can continue um, to, you know, use whatever you have in the way that they want to use it. Very interesting. Life is speeding up. That means there's a tangled, there's a tanglement. There's slowing down. Um, hold on a second. Um, there's a sense of stuck. Uh, th once again, this is retrograde energy. There's a sense of things being flipped upside down and falling into an almost quicksand type energy like you're not moving. Now, in retrogrades, that can be very good. That's like a, a, the one plus side to retrogrades is that everybody is sort of forced to slow down and look at things more closely and they're given the time to. So that's really what you should be focusing on this week, especially when the retrograde could be really affecting you, when all of these things that were hidden can be coming up. It is a good time to slow down and reinvestigate everything because I think you need a second glance at something. I think you need a second glance at somebody. I think Somebody basically has been running amok or trying to run away with something of yours. Or if you're trying to get away from somebody or get out of a situation, out of a relationship or out of a job, it may not be that easy this week. You could be tied up. That could be with bills. That could be with obligations. It could also be with manipulations. So there is a sense of being stuck you know, running with your feet in the air so you're not really getting very far and you're scraping the ground with your with your antlers. You're, you're not, in other words, you're not using the best part of yourself to get through this time. That's the challenge, to know how to get through this time correctly. If you try to get through it normally, the way that you normally would, you're going to be sort of dragging your back along the ground and not using what you have to the best of your ability. You actually have to try a different strategy this week, Cancerian. Um, ooh, yeah, it's, that's hard, right? It's like, it's like, okay, so what do I do? Um, do what you normally wouldn't do. <laughs> I, guess, I guess, like ask yourself, what do I wanna do here? What's my impulse? What do I wanna do? No, stop, look. It's like stop, look, and listen. Remember that from when we were kids? Stop, look. And listen and then think what would I normally do here okay I'm not really sure that's gonna be so well applied I'm gonna act either the opposite exactly reversed or or I'm gonna act in a different way that is appropriate to this circumstance but first I'm going to investigate it again so this goes with personal interactions a uh, person to person interactions as well not just like your bank account or um, different kinds of mysterious charges. This is take a second look at everything you do this week. And it's going maybe to drive you crazy and make you feel like, um, oh my God, this is like drudge work. This is like walking through quicksand. 
there's a way to move on a quicksand so that you don't get yourself sunk and sink deeper, right? And what, what, what is that? Honestly, it's to lie on your back and to let yourself flow and to try to like sort of pull yourself out on your back because it is buoyant. The quicksand is buoyant. You will float on it. In other words, it's exactly what you think you shouldn't do. Do that because it will actually save you this week. Um, and bada bing, here we go. Another upside down card, trust in the magic, but it's white raven and it's upside down, which means this branch is trying to get this poor little bird to fall off of it. Both magic cards are in reverse. Trust in the magic and magic works through you. They're both in reverse this week. So that is definitely telling me there are tides working against you. There are energies working against you. You need to be very wary of it, Cancerian. If I could put a red flag on any video, it would be a red flag on this video today. And I'm not seeing somebody trying to stab at you or physically harm you. I'm seeing manipulation. I'm seeing mental manipulation. I'm seeing emotional manipulation. And I'm seeing dirt slinging. I'm seeing a lot of, of um, just things coming around to bite you in the ass is what I'm seeing. And it could be somebody using your words against you, like coming back and saying, well, remember what you said? Remember you said this? Remember you said that? There has to be a very delicate hand that you have when it comes to this week and dealing with people. I would listen before you speak. I would listen very closely to somebody's words, even if it causes them irritation, I would say, can you give me a, can you give me a day to think on this? Like, can you give me a day to review this? I really want to make an informed decision, and I want to get back to you with an articulate answer. I need more time with this. I would not hesitate to say something like that because that's really the only thing that's going to be your way out and for you to see your way through. This chameleon energy could actually be a suggestion for you to try to blend in this week, to try not to stand out. I'm not saying don't be yourself, but I'm saying look and listen more than speak and behave. It's almost like you want to be a very observant this week and sort of blend in as much as you can. I'm not saying be fake because there's enough of that energy going around. Don't be fake, but definitely be um, cautious. Be cautious and try to blend in. Look, stop, look, and listen before you speak. And if you can, avoid speaking. Avoid the words, avoid using words, avoid it, avoid it, avoid it if you can, because they will be taken, um, they will be taken uh, in, they will be taken the wrong way. And it could just very well be that somebody will take those words and use them against you. Now, this is a great reading for, let me, let me go ahead and, and flip the camera around. Hold on. So here's your spread, Cancerian. Here you go. Do you see how many cards are in reverse? And most of them are the magic cards and the movement cards. And what I'm saying to you is don't move quickly this week. This could actually be your way forward. Don't try to move quickly. Add, just like quicksand, try to float on your back. And trust and work through this in ways that you normally would not. Try to lie low this week and blend in. Don't do anything that will stand out. But watch and listen. Let other people stand out. Let them be the idiots who talk too much and talk too fast. Let that be what's going on, Cancerian. Because especially with you, you can be so... We, we as Cancerians can be so emotionally vulnerable and very, very easy to manipulate and very, very easy to judge and people like to sling shit at us all the time. And I'm telling you right now, this would be the week for it. This is the energy that's coming through, but I want you safe and sound. Please do check your books, check your books, check your charges, um, check what people are saying, read your emails twice, use your mind, Take your t slow it down. Take your time this week, intentionally slow things down so that you have the time to investigate and decipher what's really going on. You want to use your intellect this week, Cancerian. Your intellect is your shell this week. 
That's what will protect you. It will help you see things clearly. If there is anything suspicious coming up, please, please look into it. I'm Listen, I'm glad that my son looked into it because somebody was literally door dashing on his dollar. On his dollar, they were using his credit card number to door dash. And if he didn't investigate it and look into it, a couple of times he's been overdrawn in his banking account. And you know, he's a, you know, he's a kid. He doesn't necessarily always go back and check his banking account and, and you know, he doesn't keep a bank registry anymore. They don't, but he doesn't necessarily always check all the charges. A couple of times he's been paying these overdraft fees, not even realizing that somebody else has been eating on his dime. So please, this, this is the, but the point is the 30th through the 6th, he just realized it today. This is when those things will come up and clarity will come in the form of, um, that information coming out. And so just be very diligent, be so diligent. And if you have to act in a way that is uncharacteristically you, move in a way that is uncharacteristically you, please. I'm going to go over to Vimeo, right? I'm going to go over to Vimeo. I'm going to clarify, maybe try to see who this person is, though it could be even a situation, um, in the, and not one person in particular, but please do be wary. Please do be wary. Um, and I will, I will see you over on Vimeo.